create interactive installations um, and I, I create uh, kinetic sculptures. They're robots, but that's, that's how, how I see it. When I started working in robotics in 2003, I wanted to use this kind of idea of a character, of agency with a three-dimensional object. So it started from a pure uh, sculpture interest. What it looks like physically, it's, 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 it's a space with robots, our own robots. Uh, it's a space with multi-sensory systems, with many sensors, with computers. Uh, but also it's a space with visiting robots. So every year with uh, our collaborative institutions, we, they, they bring here their robots and, and we run different tests. They also see people. They see research students working here, they, they see research staff and other academic staff that are part of the lab. Other than the different disciplines in the lab, we have very, very strong links with Australian uh, institutions and other schools. Social robotics is by definition multidisciplinary. So it, it, it's kind of natural that you'll have these conversations with different people, that you already have an established relationship. Every single stage is very exciting and fulfilling because it's something new. So before your final kind of design, you have prototypes that you test. But the prototyping phase actually is nothing, it's, it's, it's very basic. First of all, you want to see how big this object will be, regardless of it's an, if it's a humanoid or, or an object or a wheelchair. Or, so, so similar to sculpture, because the, the appearance also will di di uh, dictate where your technology will go. So you always have to, to um, work in parallel and everyone is on the same table sharing things. You can't just design something or prototype it and then say, some, okay, now we need to, to have three degrees of freedom around the arms. Once you have the prototype, you start testing it and could be different kinds of tests. If it's something interactive, that's part of an interaction design, then you want to test it with people. If it's something that it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a part that is strictly technological, you want to test it in relation to, to resilience, uh, you know, uh, temperature changes. Then this, this kind of first evaluation will inform the next stage. So it's like a spiral. Then you, you, you develop the next piece, then you evaluate again, and that evaluation will inform your design so the prototype, in a way, you don't have one prototype. With the spiral methodology, you have a variety of prototypes that they're informed by being in dialogue with the team, with the outside world, uh, with different technologies to see how to make things better. A fresh and a new aesthetic approach of what a robot can be, something that, uh, um, something that maybe people from different fields would have never considered. And it's not just pure aesthetics, because aesthetics, as we know, uh, affects uh, behavior. Uh, we offer different scenarios. We understand spaces, we understand agency. Uh, we, can, we understand experience, we understand what it is to create an experience. That's what we, we've been doing for centuries as artists. But also, we're, we're very much within, we, we understand social structures that not many disciplines do. Um, I don't believe that art is the only discipline, it's, it's one of many that, you know, social robotics need. But I think our role is extremely important. It's not complementary, it's essential. I don't expect the students to have um, a technological, necessary technological background, but what I do expect them to have is an open mind. Uh, a critical spirit, to ask interesting questions, to challenge, to contribute, to be actively engaged with new things that are necessarily not familiar to them, uh, but, but to be present and, and not just pass by. A different level of awareness about uh, new research directions and, and maybe new industries, but most importantly, um, with a new toolbox, with a new toolbox that you can use in your own research selectively, even if you're not interested in, in, in continuing your research with robotics.